we can first cut. Golly! What's up, YouTube? Halfway home at the Wyndham Championship and a log jam at the top of the leaderboard. We'll talk about that. We'll look at the live odds and much more. Hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. We'll get started right now. Welcome to the First Cup Podcast. I'm Rick Gaiman. That right there, Patrick McDonald. Patrick, good to see you, bud. Yeah, it's been a while. Like we said uh, backstage, it's good to see you too. Uh, got a good one brewing down in uh, Greensboro. Uh, they're lining up. Lots of guys uh, very close to the top of the leaderboard. We are uh, we are hot right now with a couple of guys still out on the golf course. So let me talk about the ones that are actually finished. And there are three in the clubhouse at nine under par through two rounds. Brandon Wu, Ryan Moore, and the man, the myth, the legend, the f- artist formerly known as Ju Hyung Kim, Tom Kim. How about this guy? <laughs> I mean, how, how can we not talk about him, especially after his start, his quadruple bogey? Uh, I think Justin Ray said no one's ever won a tournament after starting with quadruple bogey. So history is on the line in Greensboro. And, I mean, there's kind of a big team event here next month. I mean, he's got to be inching towards that. You look at the world rankings, this guy's number 34, I want to mm-hmm. say. You got to think he's almost a lock for uh, Quail Hollow, you think? All right, so there's a lot to break down here. As you mentioned, Patrick, he makes a quad out of the gate. That's an eight on the par four first. He battles back and ends up shooting a 67 on Thursday. He follows that up with a 64 on Friday. That's how we've gotten here. Now, unless his name is going to be atop the leaderboard on Sunday night, he is not going to be participating in our FedEx Cup playoffs. That's the only way for him to get in is to earn a membership now, which the only way he could do that is via victory. Um, and then you're right. Like we could have a situation where he's on the president's cup team and didn't even participate in the playoffs. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't, I don't know how Emmelman keeps him off the president's cup team, honestly, <laughs> cause he gets four as opposed to the U S six and the eight, I mean, cage Lee is number eight right now, which is kind of crazy. And then you have, I think Tom's 14 where, I mean, the way he's playing, how do you not pick him? type of deal uh but yeah i mean i'm honestly like i love the storylines of the playoffs and everything but my head's already at quill hollow like i'm already thinking about that he dominated the asian tour this year and then basically when he started to get a taste of of pga tour action it was a 17th at the byron nelson it was a 23rd at the u.s open that big third place finish at the scottish open remember that was a stacked field he then made the cut at the open championship and then it's t26 at the 3m seventh place finish at the rocket mortgage and whatever he ends up doing here i mean this is um across all tours globally patrick he has been just phenomenal there's 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 no other way around it it's how he got to what you mentioned earlier being ranked 34th in the world yeah it really came out of nowhere um and i know like kind of people in the dfs and betting space have been tooting his horn uh no pun intended about the you know train uh ties there and everything but he's just i mean he's gaining strokes every which way i think the only concern is just he's been making legitimately everything on the greens through the first 35 or uh, 35 holes after the first one. (laughs) Uh, So you would expect that to slow down a little bit, but it's ridiculous. You know, he's 20 years old. Like we haven't seen them since probably since Joaquin came out a few years ago. And it's pretty uh, comparable. I think he is uh, not the favorite, according to our friends over at Caesar Sportsbook, to win this Wyndham Championship. That belongs to Sung J M plus three ten. Sung Jay's still out on the golf course right now. He's one shot off the lead, and he's got four holes to go. And then there's a log jam, as as meant, mentioned, Patrick Russell Henley, who is one shot back. Uh, he's six to one. Aaron Wise, who is still out on the golf course, he's nine to one. Brandon Wu, who's already done, is twelve to one. So this this is shaping up to be really, really competitive the rest of the way. Even removing the storylines of Presidents Cup of uh, playoffs, like this is shaping up to just be a very competitive championship. Yeah, and I mean with Sung Jay not really doing much today, I think the irons were just kind of 
a little bit off. Uh, they, I mean, they weren't, you know, great in round one. He got by with them, still shot seven under, and they, they haven't been great today. So he's let the whole field really into this. Uh, and, you know, past this list we see on the table, I mean, we still have Hatton, who's still right there. Keith Mitchell's still right there. There's a lot of guys kind of four or five under. Davis Riley's still right there as well. So uh, it's going to be a great final 36 holes. Yeah, it it really is. Um, John Huh, who was our 18 hole leader, is currently uh, at eight under par. He gave one back on Friday, so he's now in a tie for fourth again. That might change a little bit with Sung Jay and a couple other guys out there on the golf course. Uh, we've got more to talk about. There are not only uh, Wyndham Championship implications, but obviously, as we talked about, playoff implications and much, much more. Uh, I want to continue down that path, but first we're going to take a quick break and hear a word from our partners. And we're back. So, Patrick, this event, um, just by its nature of being the final event of the the, the PGA Tour's regular season, it, it it gets all the playoff chatter, right? So there's a really great cheat sheet floating around on Twitter. Brand playoffs? Remote. Thank you. That <laughs> yeah. scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. I love that. Love that. That legit scared me so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brentley Romine tweeted it out and I guess it comes from the PGA tour, but there's like this cheat sheet where if you want to look up, you know, your favorite golfer, you can kind of see what they'll need to do to get in. Uh, let's see Bryce Garnett. That's a top seven finish. Austin cook. He needs a top five, so on and so forth. But, um, this is where the, the calculators, the albacuses, the albacai get, uh, get a little bit of, uh, extra work. Yeah, exactly. And I think, uh, I know KP wrote about kind of the 12 biggest names along the bubble and, you know, 123 right there, Mr. Ricky Fowler. He kind of made a run there uh, to end the morning wave today, but just couldn't get enough going. Uh, a lot of missed putts kind of on the low side. I uh, almost chipped in for birdie on, I think, the seventh hole. But yeah, I think, you know, Data Golf had him still around 70% to make it into next week. It's dropped all the way to 55, I think. Uh, just, you know, after his play has been completed and then Webb Simpson right now, who's still on the golf course, probably going to miss the cut. I think he's dropped to number 125. So that's another big name that could be missing the playoffs. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to look past kind of the postseason, there's still a ton to play for between, you know, make it inside the top 150, top 200 and uh, so forth. So even if these guys are playing this weekend and they're not making their way uh, to Memphis next week, there's still a lot on the line. Yeah, so if you're looking at this chart, which Jacob has up on on YouTube, so as mentioned, Ricky Fowler, uh, he gone, he's gonna miss the cut here. Uh, Matt Wall, so he was 123 coming into the week. Matt Wallace was 124. He's also going to miss the cut. Those two guys do not uh, control their own destiny here. Austin Smotherman still out on the golf course, struggling a little bit, currently inside the cut line. So that's 123, 124, 125. Guys on the other side of the line are trying to put a little pressure on. Max McGreevy, 126, who needs at least a 46th place finish. Well, he's T16 right now, Patrick. And you start to look even further. Um, you know, Danny Willett, Unfortunately, he's not going to make the playoffs because he's on the outside already and he's going to miss the cut. Justin Lauer, he's right now inside the number. I mean, like this is, it is, um, it's heating up as they say. <laughs> yeah, it, it's getting a little, a little hot in here. Some of these guys, you know, there might be some big putts come Sunday that uh, will make, make or break their season. I remember it was uh, Justin Rose last year when Cheslin Hadley had the hole in one, the great final round and whatnot. Uh, Justin Rose was the guy on the outside looking in. So it's uh, a little different where there's a ton of rookies kind of right there on the line with Smotherman, McGreevy, Lauer, Hardy. Uh, and then you're kind of mixing them in with these veterans and Willett, you know, Wallace and Fowler. So it's a really cool mix uh, that, that I don't think we kind of see every year. Uh, and then kind of the name I'm looking for just because, you know, he's a fan favorite, Harry Higgs. Uh, mm -hmm. He should be making the cut, 138. Real outside chance to make it into the playoffs. Uh, you know, he is T36 right now. Still has six holes left in his final or uh, second round. So needs a big weekend. Yeah, uh, he's got to get up to 13th, though. That's, you know, it's not impossible. It, it's it's not definitely impossible. it's definitely doable. So he's kind of the name that, you know, I have starred on my app over the weekend. You know, hopefully he can make a move. Because it's so jammed, he is only two shots out of that, right? He's three under right now, and he's still on the golf course. So that's T37. Well, five under is T16. Like, that's that's how jammed up they are. So it 
it's going to be pretty wild the rest of the way. One other note here. Um, you mentioned him briefly, Webb Simpson. Uh, he barring, barring Webb Simpson rolling in this 27 foot Eagle putt and then birdieing 16, 17 and 18. All of that has to happen or Webb Simpson is going to go home and he is going to miss out, right? He was outside. Where is Webb? He was outside the number coming in. Uh, he, he was, was like 117. Yeah. yeah. So he would, he would not have his own, uh, his own destiny in his hands there. But is it, is it a bit more concerning that Simpson struggling goes to a place like, uh, Sedgefield where he's been absolutely dominant? Like it's just, it's just been not Webb's year. Yeah. And like with his announcement of kind of assistant captain, I was like, oh, this guy mm. must be in like his forties or something. He's still 36 years old. Yeah, which man. is incredible, like, to think about it. I mean, he won the U.S. Open in 2012, you know, ten, like over 10 years ago now. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I mean, I hope he's still 100%. You know, he had that long injury, didn't play a lot in the spring. He's come back, definitely has shown some signs of life. He played kind of well at the Ballast Bar, kind of well at the Travelers Championship. Uh, but, you know, ever since kind of Scotland, it's been – really bad uh so it, it you have to be concerned and it's kind of stinks that he isn't going to be playing out quail hollow in the president's cup and just like looking back to that 2019 team and seeing who was on it it's kind of jarring you know like gary woodland mm. ricky fowler webb mm. simpson and it's <laughs> it's like it's crazy just how much can change in such a short amount of time in this game the torch has been passed uh it appears so Here's what we've got going on. A very steamy cut line with a very steamy top of the leaderboard uh, with a very steamy will you make the playoffs or not situation. So lots on the line. Uh, we will obviously be back after rounds three and four to break it all down. Sung Jay just hit his ball into the hazard off the tee at uh, I believe that's 14 or 15. So that's Ooh. not, that's not great. That's 15, uh, a hole you want to take advantage of. So Sung Jay might not end up atop the leaderboard after this round. We'll have to see how it goes. He's got a couple more holes, but Patrick, uh, always fun. The people can find you on Twitter at amateur status, right? For all the hot takes and <laughs> producer Jacob does all the hard work behind the scenes and you can find me at Rick run good. And we'll be back tomorrow night. Good luck. See ya.